Charlene, welcome to my creative life. This is project four for my September series. I am gathering a lot of white cardstock because I'm going to be doing a lot of white, stamping on white, matting on white, and then putting it on a white card base. So the first thing I did is I'm grabbing some scrap pieces of white paper. I just have them in a large envelope that's right there next to my desk. And I use these all the time for stamping, journaling, things like that. Sometimes just even practicing on things. But I'm using these stamp sets. One is a botanical uh, prints, and the other are those solid uh, shape blocks or stamps, which I'm going to be using. I think this is something called like highlighting. So I'm going to be stamping one of the solid blocks, one shape with one image. So I'm only doing three. I'm not going to be doing that dragonfly that you see over in that top left side. So once I stamp the solid ink, onto the white paper, which is just going to be right there. I'm using light colors, not, not necessarily pastel, but lighter colors. I think it's a very soft look that I'm thinking of. And then I'm going to use black ink and stamp the flower or the image, not directly in the middle center, anything like that, just a little off center. So it just kind of highlights a little bit of that stamp. And that's why I think it's called a highlighting technique. I'm not even really sure if that's what I'm calling it. So I'm going to do this three times. So three different stamps, three different shapes, three different colors. Like I said, not pastel, but just light colors. So my thought was, I mentioned earlier, I was going to do, you know, stamp on white, matte with white, put it on a white card front on top of a white card base. Well, I started doing that, and then you'll see in a little bit, I do add a little bit more color, but it's the same color, so they coordinate with the stamped um, solid image, shaped images. And I think you're really going to like it. So every so often you're going to see a little hand just kind of poking her way in there. That's my granddaughter. She's been spending a lot of time in, in my craft room. Oh, there she is. She's kind of giving me wipes, things like that, because she knows I'm going to be making a mess. But she really wants to get on film, and I am going to be putting a little clip of her um, soon. So stay tuned for that. But um, again, I'm just stamping. There she is again. I'm just stamping the, um, the botanical prints just right on to those solid pieces. But look at, aren't those so pretty just like that? So I am going to cut them down a little bit. So the longer ones or the taller ones are one and three quarter inch by three inch. And then this other one is one and three quarters squared. So I'm showing you right now, I have two different uh, depths, uh, widths, I'm not sure what you'd call that, of the foam adhesive. So one of my girlfriends was making, we had like a card making day, and she had these kind of flatter foam dots, and I thought, what are those? I've got to have them. I love foam dots, but I don't like a lot of dimension on a lot of things, especially if you're mailing cards, things like that. It adds more bulk, so you'd have to spend more money, and I do not like a lot of dimension in my scrapbook. So when I saw these little flatter dimensions, foam adhesive, I just, I had to have them. Now, I will put a link in um, on my blog, and then that link to my blog will be in the information box but go to my blog because then you'll see all the items that I've used the different colors things like that or any like more pictures that you need so again I mentioned that I was going to add a little color so that's exactly what I did so I used the same ink color that I used on my you know that solid uh, shape and then just use a panel brush and just lightly put a little bit of color just right there in the center and most of it's going to be covered with this fine because that's what I want I just wanted a little bit of color, not too much, because I really still want these cards to be very subtle, very um, pretty, soft, you know, and I, I just think that that really kind of gave it a little bit of something without overwhelming it. And the thing I really like is that these prints really could be for any subject matter. So I did grab some sentiment stamps. Now, these are the first ones I grabbed, and I ended up changing most of them. I did keep the year on, your, on my mind which I put on the, um, the squared flower one. And then I had another like sympathy uh, stamp that I put on and then a, um, I want to say happy birthday, but you'll see in a second. But what you'll also notice, and maybe not right away, but I do point it out, is I got a little bit of black smudge on that purple one. Oh my goodness. But I am not giving up. I am not doing all that work and with, for a smudge. So you'll see in a little bit how I fix that. And I hope that helps you so when you do something like that, it's not the end of the world. All it means is, my friend used to say, 
if you make a mistake, it's not a mistake, it's a, an excuse to embellish. I forget how she said it, but I loved her for that because especially when you're first starting off, every little thing can just like put you over the edge, right? You're like, ah, I did all that work and then it just, you know, I smudged or whatever. Um, but, you know, don't worry about that. It, it all works out. So I just put the adhesive straight on the back of the card front. And you notice that I put some gold thread, just very th thin gold thread that I have, and I uh, tie just a very simple bow. Now, the, when I tie my bow, I wrap it around, and then I pull it really tight. So even the paper bows a little bit, because by the time you get done releasing it and making the bow and all that, it all kind of loosens a little bit. So even it, it doesn't seem as loose because you, you get it so tight. But I did those on two of them, and... Um, Oh, I'm adding some tiny rhinestones on this one because this is what I'm talking about. That smudge right there. You can see it in like the top middle and I'm putting it on just right there. I'm using my thicker tool because these little guys were hard to, to move around. But you'll see, I also use my fingers because as you know, if you are a subscriber, <laughs> my fingers are my favorite tools. So anyhow, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you do decide to hit that subscribe button. I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking. And the other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center. And in this case, it happens to be these cards. I do a lot of series, and those are basically just to challenge myself because I do like to try different things, different techniques, and um, it's always fun. And all these cards end up in my card box, which I do sell. I do have little pop-ups um, with my coworkers and other people. I have kind of regular customers. But look at how pretty all of these cards are, and I think they're so pretty, and I hope you agree. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.